I'm Ginger Bruner. These are my unnatural landscapes. The unnatural landscapes, and it's because they aren't actual landscapes. They're essentially little vignettes that I built to show the landscape of the inside of my head, shall we say. So they're the landscapes that I see inside. I've been looking for a way to, to reflect light and to catch light and to make it do but my bidding, basically. And I was having trouble with that, with using candles and glass and reflective services, and that just wasn't quite working for me. Hi, I'm Jennifer Henry, and this is Love's Last Look. Jennifer Henry is a friend of mine, and, uh, and I happened to see her installation, so I had a chat with her, and we talked about stuff, and she said, well, you know, go over to the party store. They got it in all the colors and all that, and then while I was at the store, I also saw mylar and tissue paper, so I picked up some clear mylar, or some regular mylar and some various cellophanes and some tissue paper, and, uh, some, and I searched for these tiny little lights and I have a couple of different kinds of lights that I use. And um, so I just made these kind of environments. And, and, and these are all, the images in this show are all extreme close-ups of these little tiny environments. I was born in Las Vegas and I've obviously grown up surrounded by amazing lights. And when I was a kid, my parents would drive us down Fremont Street so we could look at all the amazing lights on Glitter Gulch. And so uh, I also lived in Japan a lot and so they have the whole gold leaf thing going on over there and so I'm kind of trying to combine those things. I've been trying, I've been shooting neon for years and years and years. So this is a little more surreptitious. There's no neon, there's no gold leaf, but it feels like there might be. I do a lot of iPhone photography, but none of this is using that technique. This is all using actual cameras with actual lenses, um, digital cameras, mind you. And I have a number of different lenses, so depending on the effect I want, I'll use the, the lens to get that. I've got macro, uh, extreme wide uh, aperture, which will give you a very shallow depth of field. I also have a, uh, a tilt shift lens which is very helpful, and that's sort of the lens that makes one little thing uh, in focus and everything else kind of weirdly out of focus, depending on how you use it. And so I shoot that, and these are all straight photographs that have not been photoshopped. And so my friends who are Photoshop whizzes and pro Photoshop people thought maybe it was, and it's, they're even more amazed that it's not. The show runs through August 24th, so please come on by, and if you'd like to learn more about using your phone for better photos, I'm teaching a class here at Winchester Center, August 19th from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. See you there.